narrated by Ibn Abbas. A man who wants to perform the Hajj, from Mecca, can perform the Tawaf around the Kaaba as long as he is not in the state of Iram till he assumes the Iram for Hajj. Then, if he rides and proceeds to Arafat, he should take a Hadi, animal for sacrifice, either a camel or a cow or a sheep, whatever he can afford, but if he cannot afford it, he should fast for three days during the Hajj before the day of Arafat, but if the third day of his fasting happens to be the day of Arafat, ninth of Dhul Hijjah, then it is no sin for him, to fast on it. Then he should proceed to Arafat and stay there from the time of the Azhar prayer till darkness falls. Then the pilgrims should proceed from Arafat, and when they have departed from it, they reach Jam, al Mazdalafa, where they ask Allah to help them to be righteous and dutiful to him, and there they remember Allah greatly or say Takbir, Allah is greater, and Talal, none has the right to be worshipped but Allah, repeatedly before dawn breaks. Then, after offering the morning, Fajr, prayer you should pass on to Mina, for the people used to do so and Allah said, then depart from the place whence all the people depart. And ask for Allah's forgiveness. Truly. Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. Surah 2 verse 199 Then you should go on doing so till you throw pebbles over the Jamra. Narrated by Anas. The Prophet peace be upon him used to say, O Allah. Our Lord. Give us in this world that, which is good and in the hereafter that, which is good and save us from the torment of the fire. Surah 2 verse 201 Narrated by Aisha The Prophet peace be upon him said, The most hated man in the sight of Allah is the one who is the most quarrelsome. Narrated by Ibn Abu Malaika Ibn Abbas recited, Respite will be granted, until when the apostles gave up hope of their people, and thought that they were denied, by their people. Surah 12 verse 110, reading Kudhibu without doubling the sound dh, and that was what he understood of the verse. Then he went on reciting, even the apostle and those who believed along with him said, when will come Allah's help? Yes, verily, Allah's help is near. Surah 2 verse 214 Then I met Urwa bin Az-Zubair and I mentioned that to him. He said, Aisha said, Allah forbid. By Allah, Allah never promised his apostle anything but he knew that it would certainly happen before he died. But trials were continuously presented before the apostles till they were afraid that their followers would accuse them of telling lies. So I used to recite, till they, come to, think that they were treated as liars reading Kudhibu with double dh.